I didn't know what half of the stuff was. I'm like thinking, right, what are we actually doing? We're tough reps, we went in. We actually went in with the reps. Calisthenics means pull-ups, push-ups and dips. Yes! Ice box, you know, that's jumping off the edge into the unknown for some people. The ice, the cold. I'm grateful for the plant medicines that we got to work with. From the Hape to the Sananga. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for my brother Bailey. He don't really come to, he wouldn't really come out and do something like this. But, you know, big up him for trusting me as his bro and coming into the space and being open for himself. Yeah, do you know what? I think that would be good for me. I'm not gonna lie, I need something like that. I need to, even just to be active, you know, because I'm honestly, I'm wasting days until I train. I literally wait until the evenings to train. And in the daytime, I'm just full of anxiety. Like, oh, I should be being active. I should be, like, I said I was gonna spread word and use my platform, and that's what I was gonna be doing on social media. I've not been doing it. So something like this looks good. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. If if I can if I can capture it and make it my next vlog, like me dealing with what, all of this, and let me know. If it's no cameras thing, that's fine. I'll be there. But I'm taking it seriously either way. It's me, 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 Bailey TV. Do you prefer your own company sometimes? Like, do you just prefer to stay in? and not do anything. Especially like since lockdown, has that become like a thing for you? Since lockdown, it really takes a lot to get me out of my house. All of the little industry events and social events I used to go to all the time, I see them happening. I, I get invited to them and I don't go and then I watch them on stories and I'm just like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go. That kind of leads into not wanting to do YouTube. Like I, I was just trying to work out can I just go back to doing my old job, which was being a graphic designer slash animator slash video editor um, and just freelancing. But then what happens is I just end up waking up in the mornings, working off my laptop in my bed and just literally wait until the evening where I can go training and do jujitsu. That was the cycle that I was in up until Terrell Lewis invited me to come down to the street gym for like a spiritual day, I don't even know what it was. It was like a spiritual day. I can't even remember how he advertised it, but I knew when I went, I didn't really know what I was going to do. I was just willing to go. A happy circle, I think. This is a vlog for people at home that might be hermits too. I've said yes when I would normally have said no. So I'm coming, I'm gonna do it. I hopefully I enjoy it. it. Might change my whole perspective of life. I'll be out here every week. Like, this is kind of like mad blue. See it there. Look at that. I'm seeing a lot of stuff, like I'm seeing yoga mats laid out on the floor. I'm seeing like all these things in the middle. What's the combination of things in the middle? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Am I overthinking it? I didn't know what half of the stuff was. I'm like thinking, right, what are we actually doing? The only thing I saw that I was excited about was the ice baths. When I left my house yesterday, I was only upset because there was no water. My whole point is everything was dry and I'm a water child. Blood, there ain't nothing down. There's nothing different from here to down there. What's down there? So the session started with um, we were, we were, we all sat around in a circle. I didn't know many of the people in the circle. I'd seen a lot of people in the circle from around Street Gym, but I didn't know any of the backgrounds. I didn't know the stories or why they were here. But Tara asked us to introduce ourselves, give your name and a word that means something to you. I guess a word that represents why you're here or what you're about or I don't know. It, there was not really much rules. So we all just took our times, went around in the circles, gave our names, introduced ourselves, gave a little background and gave our stories. This, what here, Brixton Street Gym, for me has always been like, um, almost like a reset button for me. Um, Terrell himself uh, and I go back a while and I look at him as sort of like an inspiration for creativity sometimes. Um, I say no a lot. I was saying at the beginning of this documentary, <laughs> I say no to a lot of things just because I don't, I don't know. You could ask me to come to the park and my, my sort of instant answer would be no. So I'm trying to like, um, 
I'm trying to recalibrate and, and start saying yes to opportunities. This was an opportunity to come here today from Terrell. And it just seemed fitting because I myself have gone through quite a bit in the last year or so. And that's sort of enhanced the no. Like I'm being called a hermit. You don't leave the yard. So for me, this is once again another reset. Like this is out of my sort of experiences of what I would do. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I feel the energy already. I'm glad I'm here. Um, my word doesn't reflect anything I've just said, but something maybe of what I'm going through in life. Um, my word for today is um, forgiveness. Um, so, Bailey forgiveness. Bailey forgiveness. Let me tell you what I meant about forgiveness, yeah? You gotta understand, like, around all of this time, I've just sort of tried to mend the mandem and mend some relationships. Um, but after, like, talking directly to LV and directly to Muller and sort of trying to make them see sense in sort of life and like friendship and what things mean and how things that, how small things become big things if you don't like take control of it and relationships can get ruined. I started looking deeper into my own actual life, like group of friends that I went to school with and grew up with and a few of them I'd fallen out with and when I deeped it and looked at to why we fell out I just felt like the problems could have been resolved with a conversation, but we was just we were all just too stuck in our own ways. I don't know, ego, arrogance. A lot of you at home um, should maybe think about that. Like if you've fallen out of friends that, that meant a lot to you and you fell out over reasons that when you break it back down to why you fell out, it weren't that big. Hey Bailey, um, I just wanted to say thank you for making that video because it really, I literally just um, reunited with one of my closest friends from secondary school and we left on a bad term and we literally two days ago caught up and spoke about the problems and literally sorted it out and we understood each other and yeah, it's all going good and this video just made me more happier because I realised that if I didn't go to her or she didn't come to me, we wouldn't be here right now. So I really appreciate you trying to get the man them back together. Thank you. I appreciate you. My my um word for the day was uh, forgiveness. Today we're gonna go for an hour session. See how it goes. See how everyone holds up. Mm. Our calisthenics session. Old school block workout reps. Calisthenics means pull-ups, push-ups and dips. So it'll be 10, 10, 10 press-ups. Nine. 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 Oh, nine. Okay. nine. Eight, we're gonna go eight, all the way down to one. Guess what happens when we get to one? And then we're gonna go back up. We're going up. How many fucking pull-ups and press-ups did I do that day? We're doing 110 pull-ups, 110 press-ups, and 110 dips. And I ain't been gym in a year. In fact, I ain't really left my room in a year. <laughs> I had a torn shoulder, legit. With the dips, I had to use a, a band. But I promise you, that band is a fucking lie. It didn't do a lot. It did, it did, it did, it did. But I can still feel it. Like it was a, I feel like I could have had a thicker band. Last two. You can do it, man. You got this. Nice. I was just thinking. You was mad quick to get involved with the chatty part. <laughs> I can't see you on the bars. I can't film and do both. This ain't yeah, a GoPro. I know. <laughs> you might have an excuse built in. Still. <laughs> right, I completed the first set. I'm going back up now. Come on. What? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling the pump, yeah? I ain't been gymming over a year. I'm not gonna lie. 
I was actually pleasantly surprised. No, I'm not. No, I wasn't. I weren't surprised. I'm that guy. I could not go gym for two, three years and I'll still do that. Yes, push. Oh, that's what we're doing here. Oh, we're doing, that's what we're doing. Get out of my way, get out of my way. <laughs> Alright, now twos. <laughs> yep. And now you're working your way back up, so now two. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> working your way back up. <laughs> we going back up now. So apparently. <laughs> I feel like I put my all into that last bit. Good work, man. This is gonna be a tough set. Man. Mind over body. Two reps. Mind over body, man. That's mental. Mind over matter. You got this, one more, one more. Nice. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Push. Last two. Last two. Wait, hold on a second. Are you on ten? This is my last one. Yeah. Did you do nine there? I c well, you said last two, blood. One more. You said last two. One more. One more. Lad. You got one more, one I more. By your count, you know one more, saying? one more. I realised I counted to nine. One more. <laughs> and you know how much effort it is to get the band? <laughs> yes. Everything, everything, nothing, nothing. Four, five, yes. six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Boom. Boom. It's Boom. done. Start saying yes to stuff. <laughs> We're done, brother. We're done, Shane, man. Yes, baby, you're done now. That feels like the maddest gym session. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Number one, I don't normally set my alarm at 7 a.m. just to come out the yard. What's the time? Before 11? Look at the sweat dripping off a man. Man feels healthy right now. Man gunning up in the sun, yeah? Sun's up, guns out. So we have 10 kg here, 5 kg, no less than 5. 
What did he say? So basically, you see the belts. Yeah. You're gonna put the weights and hang it around your waist. Yeah. And then I think some of the exercises you just did. That's what I thought. I just double checking. That's what he said, right? <laughs> the ones that I just couldn't finish. No weight. I'm now adding a little bit of weight. Carrying a little you. <laughs> My ute's heavier than that, bro. Facts, facts. A little ute, then, innit? Let's go, let's go, team. Let's go. Ha! Ha! Good money. Good money. Ha! 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 Ha!
the first brother, he does this. Yeah, what I clocked. He does this. So when he took it, I was watching him closely. I was watching him very closely to see how he reacted to this. I wanted to see if he had this brain tingle, if he needed to go be sick. I won't lie, he firmed it. Then you got the next brother. Yeah. He weren't the worst, but he looked mad discomforted. He looked like it was in pain. He kind of looked like Cyril just slapped him. How are you feeling? Whoosh. <laughs> he wants to know more for you. Yeah, what are you saying? Kind of let them work on okay. your screens a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Am I being immature in a mature situation? That man said, just let them hold their meds. Yeah, don't fuck it up for them. All right, cool. But he looks like he's just been punched in the belly and he looks like he's holding his breath and he don't look ready. Yeah. Not only that, I'm lost. Yeah, I've got to watch all of these reactions and then I'm lost. I'm worried, Brett. Where's me? Oh, it's Brett. Look at them, look at them. Why am I doing this? I've had a good day. We've done a workout, we've had an ice bath, we've meditated, I spoke about my, how I feel. Let's just call it a day. Let's just done it. You know when you go swimming and you accidentally sniff the water, it burns. It was like that. Come on, yeah, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna go all over and it's gonna come out. It's gonna grab you, like you know this thing. No talking. Imagine doing that at swimming and then somebody saying, "Yeah, now let me do the other nose." I'm glad I did it. I tried everything that was on, on offer that day. To get my head like clear, I had to go back into the, the ice bath. I, I, I didn't want to finish on this. I will get back in the ice bath. Let me just jump back in there. There weren't even no ice in there that part. I just wanted to sit. It was so hot that day. I don't know how you man firmed it. You sniffed it, and it again. I sniffed it by accident. I can't, it's like my nose opens up. Everyone feels it in a different place, isn't it? I felt it in the back of my head. Yeah, I felt it in my head as well. Like you felt it in the guts. Yeah, I've seen it look like it's gonna throw up. Look, yeah, um, he felt it the worst, blood. He was done out. It hits everyone different, It hits everyone different, man. Oh, it's a mad one. I didn't take the initial well. Right now, my head does feel clear. My breathing feels a lot better. I feel like that's open my airways, mad. Hey, Max, you gotta do it, bro. I can't let you not do it. <laughs> you know why I'm a bastard? But if I could not do this, I wouldn't have done it. So I just wanted Amex to feel it. Hold. Whoosh. Brother. Ah, bless him. Bless him. That's what I wanted. I just wanted him to do that one. Once I saw him do that one, I knew it. Yeah, he's got the same reaction as me. It's finished. 
Open Jesus eyes, Christ. open up eyes. Open. That's it, move the eyes around, move the eyes around. See that Shenanga thing? The eyes one? Forget it. Don't do that one. That thing in the eyes, I, feel, I thought I went blind. I nearly, I thought I nearly went blind. Blood, blood. <laughs> Yeah, just by your reaction, I think I'm gonna sit this one up. No, hey, mate, you have to do it. You have to do it. I'm a bad advert, blood. Blood. Blood from the ashes. I said, blood from the ashes. Hey, mate, you still there? Still here, bro. Together with the brothers today, you know, iron sharp and zion. Mm. I'm so grateful to be here with the brothers, and the brothers just open up to new experiences. So I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for my brother Bailey, you know, coming down. You know, like he said, he don't really come to, he wouldn't really come out and do something like this. But you know, big up him for trusting me as his bro and coming into the space and being open for himself. So big love. Hope to see everyone. On the next Mind Bojaniran workshop and retreats, a lot more in store. Big, big love. Ashe, Abu. What's the message I want to give to you guys? Like, the hermits out there, the people like myself, like, if you're stuck in your own routine, like, try to say yes to a few things that can make you feel good. Don't be like me and say no to everything, man. Say yes to things, take care of your body, take care of your mind, forgive others, and make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I've been your boy Bailey London. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.